All right, board. So we get to start off our meeting with our student leader, and now we go to more student leaders. It is my pleasure to move us down to the next item of our agenda, Spotlight on Learning Mason Elementary School. All right. Oops. Good evening. Welcome, Madam President, Board of Trustees, Dr. Gearing, LISD staff, and of course, our families. We welcome you to the CC Mason IB World School Spotlight. Tonight, we are here to present you with what makes CC Mason IB World School a destination campus in our community, state, nation, and world. As part of our IB accreditation, we are required to undergo a process of evaluation every five years. We successfully completed this evaluation on September 9th and are here to share the highlight from the evaluation report. While there are many celebrations within that report, our focus will be on this one summarized in the following quote, from one of the IB evaluators. I told you. The strength of our campus is in our people, starting with our students, staff, and community. Tonight, we have brought you our students, our most valuable resource, so that you can hear their voice and get a sense from them what empowered learning looks like and feels like at CC Mason IB World School. We are pleased to have a assistant principal Mary Schlung and IB coordinator Dr. Janet Blackman here to share a glimpse of how our staff and community have been empowered to take action for student learning. Can I use this one? Okay. So when we think about strength of staff, we have a staff that extends themselves above and beyond to create an environment for our learners by empowering them really to have that voice, make choices, and really own their learning. So as a campus staff, we did apply continuous improvement methods and tools to build teacher agency as well in the evaluation process. If we want students to be empowered, it is important to also empower our staff. The tools helped us as a campus to get that collective voice, individual perspectives, and make determinations about how to develop this program. So tonight, when you hear our students express their empowerment, some teachers' names will be mentioned, but for every teacher that is mentioned, there's multiple staff that um, also have contributed to creating and empowering the learning environment. And we realize through this pandemic that this work can't be done in isolation and goes way beyond the walls of our school. And at this time, Dr. Blackman is going to share a perspective of how the community has impacted the empowerment of students, staff, and each other. Thank you. Madam President, Board of Trustees, Leander family, before we jump to highlighting our incredible community, let's take a moment and define what community means to us. Our community includes our students, staff, families, and our district. We sit before you tonight as a direct reflection of the work and support of our families, which include the PTO board, community group, and community partners. We would be mistaken not to highlight the incredible partnership of our district. We are truly empowered by a district that provides the resources, support, and most importantly, the research and education to back the work that we 
are doing and our teachers and staff are doing to empower our students and to be in a position tonight to share with you some of the work that they are doing. Board of Trustees, at this time, we would like to draw your attention to the student bios that provide a brief glimpse of the action these students have taken as a direct result of their learning experiences at C.C. Mason IB World School. For the purposes of time, we will not share an in-depth explanation of the action taken, rather the perspectives of what empowerment looks like, sounds like, and feels like from our students. Hi, my name is Olive. When I realized there was an invasive species on the tree, it made me feel angry and sad for the tree. I wanted to help. Every time I came to the tree, I realized no one was helping the problem. So I decided to take action by spending my time researching on how to remove the mistletoe. Hi, my name is Vivi. Olive and I have always loved nature. When we were learning about invasive species, we noticed mistletoe all over our tree on the playground. We were empowered by the teachers by saying, look at the mistletoe and try to fix it. We, real we realized no one was trying to save the tree. Since I had Olive, I knew we could do it. We realized there are so many obstacles to solving this problem, which made us want to solve it more. Hi, my name is AJ Patel, and I have been empowered by the atmosphere around the school because everyone is willing to help or try something new. Hi, my name is Joshua, and I have been empowered by my teachers because they encouraged me to keep writing books even when times get hard. They also have taught me many things about writing, and that has helped me the most. For example, they taught me what a run-on sentence was. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anae. I have been empowered by my teachers, especially my art teacher, Mrs. Day. My teachers have pushed me towards great opportunities like Quest, DI, and creating art. All these things empower me to be excited for school each day and to push myself to be a better student. Hi, my name is Natalie. I was empowered by how much hope and compassion the teachers had for me and how I was challenged by other students. Hi, my name is Anna. I've been empowered by students asking me questions and when teachers teach me new ideas and skills. It has helped me gain confidence to speak up more. Hi, my name is Sebastian. I have been empowered by my mentality because in my mind, I try hard to focus. Yes, I do days off, but I try very hard to make my dreams come true so that I can have the best life possible. Hi, my name is Renata. I have been empowered by many people. A few of them are my fellow classmates. They're always helping me when I am down and always helping me when I am confused. My amazing I have also been empowered by my amazing teachers, Ms. Scott, Ms. Harvey, Ms. Diamond, and Ms. Bonham. They are always encouraging me to do things, but in particular, Ms. Bonham has been such a kind and encouraging teacher. Last but not least, my mom. She has always told me to stay positive and never give up on myself. Hi, my name is Paulette. I've been empowered by not giving up on something I thought was impossible, like winning an art contest, even if I thought I could, that I couldn't. I can have compassion by showing people to not give up when things are tough and keep trying. I have been empowered by sharing my ideas with others, like my classmates. Hi, my name is Elijah. I have been empowered by the teachers and staff. They don't judge and the kids here are amazing and they love to help. My learning is the best because we have built a community here in our hearts and in our school, C.C. Mason. I love my learning here. In conclusion, we want to thank you for taking a moment to celebrate our greatest asset, our people. Today, you see the direct results of a community our students, staff, families, district leaders, and valuable community partners coming together to accomplish goals of empowering students to take action with their learning beyond the walls of our school. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys and I think our board could tell who our parents were, but parents, can you stand up and our supporters who, who came out, our, our parent supporters for CC Mason.
Thank you all so much, parents, supporters, students. That was excellent. Very exciting.